Caddish Maximus here. This is a difficult kind of review. One, it's been really wet, so I haven't had a real chance to demonstrate this 17 pound, 72 inch, six foot long post hole, forest post hole ding, digging bar from Harbor Freight. This is sold under their Greenwood brand. This review is really more just to uh, show people that one, this is actually not Chinese, it's an Indian made forged bar. Two, it is indeed forged and is actually pretty strong. Uh, what you would expect, it's a six foot long bar and I can stand on it and bounce and I weigh like 200 pounds so it's at least not totally garbage and at $25 with the coupon, probably much the cheapest one you're going to find anywhere. This is obviously not the kind of item that you want to have shipped just because it's a nightmare to deal with shipping on such a long item. I mean if you have to, you have to. but. Uh, definitely recommend picking this up in the store because these are the type of things, big old long bars like this, where they can be uh, not straight, can be bent. And that's just the nature of a, seven, a six foot long piece of steel that you're forging. They don't all come out great. And so I've looked at a couple and they were kind of bent. There's just a little bit too much warping. It's, this is six feet long, so it's kind of hard to show you. This one's actually really good. There's just a very slight bend. And actually, uh, most of them were like, okay, I'm just a little bit more retentive where I really like it to be straight there. The other issue that you can happen on these and why you'd look is this digging tine right here, which is indeed forced. They actually take and just smash it in the machine. So it's going to be at least carbon steel because it's going to be a hardenable steel and a forgeable steel. And so mild steel does not do that. So that's nice. This flange here or this uh, spatula is for post hole digging. The idea is if you have harder ground or you are reached maybe uh, the depth that you want that you'd use this post hole digger to go along and actually straighten out the sides of the walls and that's why it's so heavy is just so you can drop it down and have it kind of shave the ground along the edge. That's really handy if you have a very hard clay type soil. This is not a rock bar. You don't want to pry too much with this end because obviously you have a huge amount of leverage and not a lot of uh, material right there. It's maybe 5 sixteenths of an inch thick. It's going to be reasonably strong and you'll be able to pry up some stuff, uh, you know, roots and things. You'll just want to be aware of it, but that is one of the handy things about these. If we go to the other side here, we can see that it has a tamping head. So the idea of this was after you've squared up the hole for the fence post, you'll dump some gravel in the back of it and then you'll actually use this to compress that gravel. It's just a flat end and indeed it is forged as well. Have to get a flashlight, it's so dark. So anyway, this has been forged in multiple processes. We can see the flashing line there where they have squished the whole end of it into this tamping. Uh, but we can see that this is the original forging line. The whole line, the whole bar is indeed forged. Uh, but what's interesting is that forging line does not match up with the forging line that's on the head. So we know it's gone under undergone multiple processes. Here we go. Here's a better look at the spatula. And so the big deal with these is really uh, one for 25 bucks. I did uh, pick it up because they tend to be kind of uh, like at a farm places. Those kind of shots. These tend to be 40, 50 dollars for Chinese ones, which is a little disappointing. So I do like that it's an Indian one here. And when it comes to difficult digging situations, maybe you're trying to chop up some roots, these can be pretty good, especially if you actually put a bit of a sharper edge on it. Um, about the best thing that you can use besides an a, a pickaxe or a regular, <laughs> even a regular axe when you're dealing with tough digging situations, very uh, hard to get around these. And especially if you have like large clumps and you are trying to pry out roots, in most situations you will get away with uh, prying it out with this. That's all. It's also great to use in tandem with the rock barbies. For $50 you can get both the rock or less than 50 even. You can get this and their 60 inch rock bar. This unit right here which is also a really good deal. It can be used for similar types of operations as this. It just has a much heavier duty cross section for heavier duty prying uh, activities. So anyway, the postal digging bar is really just something that goes right along with the rock bar. And you're really probably better off buying both of them. And I just want to do a basic review. It's been really soggy for me to, and I uh, rent, so I can't just go digging post holes around my property. But I'll do an updated review on how it performs. This is not a carbon finish. These are painted, so the paint will come off and you'll get a little a bit of rust on them. But that's you know not a big deal. 
what is a bigger deal is that these things are actually reasonably straight, actually pretty darn straight, uh, considering what they are. And that Harbor Freight's actually selling the big versions of these. There's like 50 inch versions of like Collins Axe is a real common brand. Collins Axe sell are smaller than these. It's like a 50 inch rock bar and like a 60 inch dig post hole digging bar. And they're more expensive. So Harbor Freight really has uh, some kind of pretty good deal on these. Especially considering that these are the big ones. This is just this huge 72 inch. I mean, if we pull this down, I mean, it is just such a massive bar. It's actually kind of surprising. They have it all uh, zip tied off in the store so they don't fall on people. So in a way, that was kind of my cheesy little review without a demonstration. I do regret that, but I will update it. But I just wanted to give people my uh, my opinion on this 72-inch uh, post hole digging bar and think it's actually for with a coupon for 25 bucks. It's you're not going to find a better deal, period. Not for one of these giant bars that you know some friend or somebody brings out. Oh, look at this giant bar I have. I've always been kind of jealous of those things, so glad I finally found one. Anyway, I really appreciate everybody watching and subscribing. And if you haven't subscribed, please do. Until next time, Catus Maximus out.